Honestly, the reason why I chose to keep it basic is because Dakota Kai just won a 2 out of 3 falls match against Mia Yim to earn her way to this match against Becky Lynch. So the idea of having Dakota Kai having to fight through a stipulation against Becky Lynch would be kind of unfair and stacking the deck against the heel which is not necessarily something that normal people do you're supposed to stack it against the baby face so let's not do that as Dakota Kai has been a house of fire since the start of this one and it just opens the door for maybe more options down the road if Dakota Kai can defeat Becky Lynch for the Smackdown Women's Championship I think at the same time, playing with fire was what caused Dakota Kai to lose last time and go into the well one too many times, but I believe it was the pump kick and not using the variety of all, everything in her arsenal against Becky Lynch. These two women got to get back in the ring, but if there's anything that Dakota Kai's out to prove, it's that she can hold the candle and stay 100% in the match with Becky Lynch that she can stand on the level of the champ. Becky cuts off Dakota Kai, who is still at risk of getting counted out. Dakota's gotta get back in the ring. As the ref gives Dakota Kai, basically gives Dakota Kai a warning, and the third time's the charm for Dakota Kai with those kicks, as she drops Becky with a jumping in Sigari, and a one count. Variety, a smattering of a lot of represses do help, but it take in some cases it can end up taking out or taking as much out of the challenger as it does the champion. So it got it does have its advantage while it does have its advantages, it also has its shortcomings. I don't know what Dakota Kai tried to do there, but I think she missed time to dive or missed time to distance, maybe that Becky Lynch was away from her. Becky just sending her. Dakota Kai's forehead into the knee into her kneecap. Now she's tying Dakota Kai up like a pretzel. Rope break though. Good ring presence by Dakota Kai. Good ring presence on the part of Dakota Kai. Every step of the way, it seems like Dakota Kai is a step ahead of Becky Lynch in this one. Dakota Kai is a former women's champion. This is what she did to defeat Mia Yim. This is what she did to defeat Mia Yim. And Dakota Kai gets a two count on Big Time Bex. Dakota Kai has been a house of fire in this one thus far. She has been a house of fire in this one thus far. Not really letting the champ get out of, the, get out of her own way. Not really letting the champ get out of her own way. I don't know what she was planning on doing there, but whatever it was, Becky Lynch saw it coming, and a stiff right hand from Big Time Bex, and a brutal T-bone suplex to add to that from Becky Lynch. Dakota blocks it. Dakota. You saw Becky die her up like a pretzel, now Dakota's dying Becky up like a pretzel. But Dakota... It's the Becky's not down for the count just yet. She gets out of it. If there's anything I've learned about Dakota Kai, it's her educated feet. Dakota Kai in the process of becoming or holding this standard of number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship. She also, alongside Raquel Rodriguez, won the SmackDown Tag Team or the WWE Women's Tag Team titles as well. So there is something there and whatever Becky Lynch was going for there, Dakota Kai blocks it. Dakota Kai sweeps out the legs. Sweep out the legs. And a big double foot stomp from the top. Dakota Kai nails what she was likely going for earlier. And Becky kicks out at the count of three. I mean, at the count of two. She kicked out at the count of three. The match would be over. 
Becky blocks whatever Dakota Kai was going for there. Ducks down, and Dakota misses wildly with the with another kick. Dakota Kai's got to remember what cost her the match the last time was going to the well one too many times with the same type of move. So she's got to watch those kicks, even though she may have educated an educated feed or educated feed. She's got to watch it with those kicks. Dakota Kai, Dakota Kai, got big suplex off the top, and here comes Raquel Gonzalez. Here comes Raquel Gonzalez. If you want a perspective, Raquel Gonzalez was Dakota Kai and her partner, and Becky Lynch, I mean Raquel Rodriguez, was Raquel Gonzalez on the main roster as Dakota Kai tries to steal the SmackDown Women's Championship. Pump kick blocked. Disarmor, disarmor, disarmor. It's the same move that Dakota Kai, that cost Dakota Kai the match the last time. It's going to cost her this time. It's going to cost her this time. No, Dakota Kai is fighting back out of it. Dakota Kai is fighting out of it. She's not giving up. It was right a hair. It was a hair away from being the end of the match. And Dakota Kai somehow works her way out of it, slides her way out of. She misses the pump kick again. Dakota again gets caught. Becky Lynch. Wait a second. Rope break, I'm assuming. But Becky Lynch, that slight hesitation from Becky caused bed, bed, third time's the charm from Dakota. Third time's the charm from Dakota. Becky Lynch blocks what, I'm a, what I would assume would have been the devastation kick. Becky, Dakota goes for it again, and she hits it the second time. The devastation kick by the Dakota guy on Becky Lynch. A slight hesitation may cost her, and it does. Becky Lynch somehow kicks out. Becky Lynch somehow kicks out. What a series right there. But Dakota Kai got to keep her wits about her. Dakota Kai has got to keep her wits about her. She can't let she can't let that frustration get to her. You got to know she's frustrated. And if she is frustrated, she got to let it out on the floor because letting it out of the ring and losing her cool in the ring is a good way of costing herself what could be another reign as SmackDown Women's Champion. I'm sort of the Irish Curse backbreaker, almost like Dakota's been to the school of Sheamus. As these two women are fighting on the floor again, and Dakota is attacking the leg of Becky Lynch, whipping her throwing her around the ringside area. Dakota is th tossing Becky around the ringside area, and now she has almost hit pretty much every aspect of the ringside area. Every aspect, I mean every side of the ringside area, not every aspect. I don't know what every aspect of the ringside area is. Well, I guess that would be the ring steps, the guardrail, the ring apron, the announce table. But these two have the utmost, I don't know if they have hatred for each other, if they're just, you know, fighters. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, but what I do know, they do have great chemistry in the ring. Do both these women. And right out of the gate, right out of the gate, is Dakota Kai going to get advantage? Yes, Dakota Kai, perfect ring positioning, perfect ring positioning. She got the disarmor. Becky had the disarmor locked in, but the second time, it's not going to be the charm. This might be it. Dakota Kai, Dakota Kai, Dakota Kai comes up short against Becky Lynch. Dakota Kai comes up short against Becky Lynch. I am short now wishing. Dakota Kai is wishing that it was a two out of three falls match the second time, but I think Dakota Kai made another mistake here. Just bear with me on this one. She made another mistake in this one and showed her inexperience because she should have guided Becky Lynch into the ring and not let Becky get in on her own power. She shouldn't have let Becky Lynch get in on her own power because letting Becky Lynch get in on her own power allowed Becky to lock in the disarmor not once but twice. And just like when Beck just like when Dakota went for the dis when Dakota went for the devastation kick. 
and missed the first time, hit it the second time. Becky went for the disarmor the first time, rope break the first time, and got it the second time, and it ended up coming back to bite Dakota Kai. But I think a mistake here. Let me know down in the comment section your thoughts. But I think Becky, I think Dakota made a mistake here, thinking, not thinking about keeping uh, the unnecessary nature of creating distance between Becky and letting her get in the ring on her own. She should have followed her in the ring and followed up and not let the distance, not let Becky get her attention, not let Becky get some, you know, create some distance and allow Becky the opportunity to latch in the disarmor like she did. But either way, Becky Lynch is still the SmackDown Women's Champion, and we move on to our next video. But if you're enjoying this type of content, let me know down in the comment section below and where you would like to see Becky Lynch go next. Also, let me know down that let me know about that down below because I have ideas. But I would love to hear from you if you want to have Becky against somebody specific. With that being said, though. Do not forget to ding down that notification bell to always know when a new video is up on the channel, and I will see you all again soon.